The sun is shining, the clocks have gone forward here in the UK. I'm feeling super positive today. Can't wait to skate outside this evening. It's amazing the difference the weather can make, right? But yeah, anyway, onto the topic of the video. Peter 33 again, and I got asked this question, how do you get one shot chops on the PO33? Very good question, and I actually think this is the best hack for the PO33. If you don't know about this, this will absolutely change the game for you because you'll be able to chop samples and play them back as chops, which is really, really cool. And it's pretty easy to do as well. Actually, it's very easy. It's just one key combination. Oh, well, that's easy. So what you want to do, first of all, is record your sample into the melodic pots. So you've got one to six here. Uh, you can see at the side it says melodic. And then down here, you've got drum and that's nine to 16. And we're gonna use one of those later. So what's gonna happen when you record it into one of the melodic blocks is it's gonna kind of put it on this 16 note scale. It's gonna repitch it on every single pad. Part five is the original sound that you sampled in. So that's the original pitch. And then you can hear that all the others are kind of on this scale. Now I tend to sample in some drums and I usually have about 20 to 25 seconds left to record a sample. I tend to pretty much fill that. So I'll just record like a long stretch of a track. Part where I feel there's an interesting enough amount of things going on to be able to make a load of good chops. So once you've got that in say one, that's, I recorded this one into one. Okay, and what you're gonna do now is the hacky side of it is you're gonna make a copy of this. But what you're gonna do is instead of copying it to another melodic part, you're gonna copy it into a drum part. And what this is gonna do is automatically chop it based on transient, I believe. And then that's gonna give you these interesting chops. And this is one of my favorite devices for chopping because you just don't really know what you're gonna get. So what you have to do is hold right and sound. And you should be able to see there on the screen, it's flashing now saying copy. And one thing that you wanna make sure of obviously is that you've chosen the appropriate sound first. So sound and one, that's how you'd go and do that. And you could see when I was pressing those two keys that one is actually flashing. So we know we've got the right one. Now this is quite hard because I've got to press three buttons at the same time, but sound right. And then I'm going to put it in nine. So you've got to press all those three things at the same time. So that's pretty difficult, but you'll get the hang of it and it'll be a lot easier for you because you won't have to be presenting it to a camera like this. Uh, so right sound and then nine. And that's it, it's done. It happens really, really fast. And now what it will have done is that original sample, that original stretcher sample that you put in pot one, that's gonna have stretched that right across 16 pads. So now, you can hear that all those chops are playing back and even better, they're in a mute group as well. So you can't play any two at the same time. They'll cut each other out perfectly, just like a mute group. So that means you can get really, really smooth transitions between your chops, and then you can go ahead and do whatever you want to do with those. Now I'm really lazy with the PO33. So what I usually do is program in a drum loop or program in a few drum loops with variations, and then I'll record into my SP and just jam over the top with the chops that I think sound the best. So it's a really lazy approach, but I don't tend to use the sequencer too much on the PO33 because it's not that great. So yeah, I will lay down a drum loop with it and then just jam over the top. I don't have any drums in at the moment, unfortunately, but that would pretty much be my approach. And yeah, I know it's a very lazy approach, but I just love the sound of the PO33, but I don't particularly like the pattern sequencer. So that's the way I get around the headaches of that. So yeah, that's probably one of the best tips I think on the PO33 is that you can chop like that and get these really interesting chops because it's trying to do it by transient. And as I showed in one of my previous videos, I think it was last week, you could go ahead and transfer all those chops onto the SP. You've got 16 pads here on the SP, so it's a direct match. You could go ahead and if you've got the patience, you could copy all those chops across or you could just copy across the ones which you like the best and then use the pattern sequencer on the SP404 Mark II because that will do the heavy lifting for you and it's a lot easier. Uh, I don't wanna go into that too much because I already mentioned that in a previous video. I'll link to it in the top right hand corner. But yeah, that's how you do it and it's just so, so good, that hack. So yeah, I think that's probably the best hack on the PO33. If you've got one of your own, which you use regularly, if you've got a PO33 and you can't live without that hack, let me know in the comments below. I use this on every single beat that I make with the PO33 and it's just a, an absolute game changer. So yeah, just write and sound and you'll see copy in the top corner. Make sure you've already selected the bank that you wanna copy. Hit a drum pot that you wanted to copy into and it's done, it's as simple as that. Absolute goated hack for the PO33, one of my favorites.